So I am excited to share some little DIY projects that I'm working on. This has been definitely something that I've wanted to try and that is, drum roll, mason jar vertical gardens. All right, so this is such an easy DIY weekend project. Let's take a closer look at some of the materials before we get shopping, shall we? Here's what I had to prepare myself for. Pick out your wooden plank. This could be any kind of stain option or I just went with a neutral uh, right there with what we'll find later at the home goods store. Mason jars, you can use four or three. Just make sure that you have enough um, if you wanna make a couple of these. I got my wooden planks at Lowe's. Um, I've also seen them at Home Depot. Any home improvement store should be fine. And they're fairly inexpensive. Just kind of depends on how many you want to go with. Uh, again, there's different stain options. I ended up just going with neutral and then buying some separate stain myself and loading any, everything into the car and getting ready to go. I had never seen a stainless steel hose clamp, but you can find them in the plumbing section. Make sure to grab as many hose clamps as you do mason jars. So if you're doing a board with three mason jars, you'll want three hose clamps. Four, you'll want four hose clamps. So they will be fastening the mason jars to the wooden plank. Go ahead and grab some water seal if you want to protect your wood from any watering later. And don't forget, you've got your favorite herbs and that's my favorite part is trying to figure out which herbs I want for my herb garden. Are you ready to get started? Me too. So first we're gonna measure our plank and cut it. So depending on which wall you wanna put it on, uh, go ahead and measure the wall. And ours ended up being 19 inches, but again, I've seen them different sizes. I actually made a few that were a little bit smaller, closer to the 13 side, and I just put two, two cute little mason jars for that one. Go ahead and sand down that plank too. You just don't want any rough edges. Uh, so my husband and I here, you're watching us the dynamic duo go through cut the planks and sand again I made multiple of these because I wanted to test out the different variations of stain the water seal came in handy and it just um, I did do a 24-hour spray beforehand so this is a weekend project uh, you can get away with not not a water sealing but I think you should on the safe side I really enjoyed making cute little labels again I was gonna make some of these for gifts um, over my spring break so you can see I was putting in even some flowers and some different options other than herbs, lavender, and then uh, later on you'll see that I ended up planting some fun different herbs. <laughs> I Instagrammed the whole thing and got a lot of comments and it was fun to be able to show them our progress along the way. My cat sure loved getting in the mix as well. So here we have some stain options. I loved this dusty gray look. I went really dark on some of the boards and um, lighter on the others. So you will need the tiniest screws imaginable to be able to put in the center of these hose clamps because the grates in the middle are super tight, but they do hold. So here I am trying some different screws and my husband tells me we need the tiniest screws imaginable. Let's try this together. So I'm glad that he was able to step in and help me. Actually took quite a bit of strength to be able to tie and secure those down. So he helped me with the first couple. So here we are securing the hose clamps and then making sure that we position the mason jar in the middle there. And here I am tightening the hose clamp around the mason jar and fastening them down. Very exciting to be able to see this work and this progress. You're gonna pick a hanging method, whatever works best for the room that you're gonna be putting these in. I picked the kitchen. Of course, that's easy for cooking to be able to grab some herbs, throw them in a dish or whatever we're making. And um, you can also pick out how far you want to space those out. So as you're measuring and um, I tried some different variations of the different hanging methods. Oh, I almost forgot. Sprinkle pebbles at the bottom and that will help uh, have a little bit of water in there when you're watering and it will just even out the jars. Um, planting's pretty easy and straightforward and that's really where everything comes to life. Ready to see the big reveal? Voila! Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how proud I was. Yay!
Thank you guys so much for watching. Here is a flashback of some of the fun DIY projects I've shared with Collin County Moms. I absolutely love being a contributor and sharing some of my favorite do-it-yourself home projects. It just really helps to be able to share some progress that I'm making with you guys. And thank you so much for all the support, the comments, and uh, everything you guys do. So here's just a flashback of some of the various projects that I've done and I've shared. So I'm really excited to put not one, but two basils in the mason jars in the first ever created, never before seen, I'll call it kind of a, a soft gray tone of our little herb garden mason jar. <laughs> we don't even know what to call them yet. So let's see what it looks like. What do you think, Caleb? Uh, how about we call them season jars? What I like about this basil is that it sprouted a little bit of this purple tone. I don't know if you can see, but that'll look really nice on our gray board. And these aren't just for show. You can definitely use them for cooking, right? Oh yeah. You just take off a little leaf. Ooh, do you smell those? And then... Your camera guy has to sm smell them. <laughs> oh, that smells good. You guys need to buy it to smell it, but it smells amazing. Thanks, Caleb. My number one salesman, huh? You think we got something good for a little business? Nick, um, Nick sells stuff, so it, it'll be good for the mom to do some work. Some nice competition. Okay, well, we'll put these little basil jars over here. What we're gonna do now Here's the color of the gray. We were, me and Nick were doing some measuring. Yep. And then we're gonna put the hanging. I'm trying to not get my finger oh, in. Oh, I know why we didn't do this earlier, because we didn't have anything to hang the back. Yeah, but like, um, we're improvising. These. You want a garage business, Caleb? Not business on garages, but... Garage band. <laughs> I already have it. Can you give me the drill, Caleb? Yeah. How come this isn't... This is like... It's okay. It's tilted. It's right where I want it. Okay, who's ready for gray? So now we're going to put the mason jars in our freshly secured mason jar holders on the board. So I'm going to place them just like this and then now I need to fasten them. I'm going to tighten them. See this? Ready? I wonder if I'm doing this one it's looser. How'd that happen? Hmm? Double check them. Or jars to the top of the wood. So I really like to put the mason jar about level with the wood there. So we'll do this one first. I think I did it. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, 
that enough? No. Nope, not yet. You need okay. to hold the jar. Back up a little bit, Caleb. Hold the jar. There you go. Put it on there. Keep going. It's pretty tight. And okay. pretty yeah. secure. We need to do this one now. Loosen this she one. Did. Yeah, but see, so that these are both the same height. So you need to raise this one up a little bit. Let me see how it looks. Alright, back way up, Caleb. All the way back. See what it looks like inside. Let's hang it up. See here from that? There's the front. Here, I think what I'm gonna do, Kaylin, is get some pictures of it outside. Mm -hmm. 